like two comedians right. playing the Joneses. Mm -hmm. Somebody's going to lose. And it just so happened on that day, right. you lost. Right. So and I'm not, not going to... Once again, you going, you a comedian. You're supposed to toughen up. What the frick is wrong? Like, I... You can't roof, roof. You need to roof, roof. Okay. Now, and what the hell is Wanda's husband getting into this thing for? It ain't like he put his hands on the woman. He just said some things. He just said some things. Huh? I'm tired of these men I'm trying to. Uh, I'm tired. Hit it. It's your girl, it's Dr. Craziness. I'm coming to you, you, and you with another yes, another um word on the street video. So let's just go ahead and get into it. But before we do, make sure you hit that subscribe button, share this video, turn on post notifications, and shop the website pineapplelondon25.com. I got five on it, five dollar shades on deck. All right, now if you have been under a rock or you just ain't messing with social media like that. Cat Williams, a good comedian, very good, had me laughing from um beginning to end on his stand up to be honest. He went on the um Frank Ski and Wanda show and of course some things got heated. I'm not gonna show the clip because hell you should saw it by now. But <laughs> um, you know, copyright purposes. But he you know he went in on her and personally from what I seen, I think from what everybody saw, she started it. You know, she tried to, you know, go a little tit for tat. And I'm like, you are not funny, boo. You are not funny. And you can't keep up with the big dogs. I'm sorry. That's just my opinion. You might have a different perspective. But Wanda has never been funny to me since I've been listening to her on V103. Frank Ski and the Wanda show. And then she was also with Ryan Cameron. Okay. When they had their little segment. She was not funny to me. Her jokes were half ass. All right. So my thing is, I think she personally got into her feelings, which you could have seen. You know, um, he was talking about her hair and her gnarled fingers. I'm like, what the hell, cat? But whatever. And then what it made it so bad, and it really just hit left when um she had asked cat what what's a famous dish or a good dish she makes for his kids and stuff like that. And you know, he said it with um intelligence. A, he had an intelligent response and all that and then he was like so no it wasn't him it was the other dude he was like so yeah Wanda what would you you know cook for your kids you know you got three boys or whatever and she gonna tell me I make this famous good broccoli like B you don't make broccoli what the hell is you making it from scratch like no boo you do not make broccoli you just steam that bit like what the you could have said broccoli casserole or something like that. But you're talking about I make a good ass of broccoli. And everybody was like, did they just come? I think she was really getting into her feelings and she didn't think about what she said. She was just coming out with it because she had said something. And it's like she couldn't finish her joke. So she just started laughing. She's like, <laughs> And then Cat Williams just KO'd her ass. I mean, at the end of the day. Frank Ski had said it best. He was like, I'm not a comedian, you know, because he did try to defuse, well, I wouldn't say defuse the situation, but he did was like, Let, let's cut cut to the commercial. Can, can we cut to the commercial? Because it's getting a little heated up in here. And um, he tried to do a little something, something, but they kept going. So she got on his clothes and he got on her weight. Uh, <laughs> comedians do that. So as watchers, we thought, you know, they want tit for tat. And Frank Ski said it too. He y'all are comedians, so I just thought this was like a real royal run, but you know, doing the Joneses type thing and the best person win. And obviously you didn't win. So you got in your feelings. And so now Cat Williams is claiming that her husband then pulled out a you know what. I'm not gonna say the word because I'm gonna let y'all um get a glimpse of the police report or whatever. Well, it really wasn't a police report. I guess it was, but shouldn't have not started with Cat Williams. Isn't he the same one that was going against that little 17 year old? I don't know if the 17 year old had said something to him and he just went off or the 17 year old hit him and he went, he would go around, he
he was going around fighting or getting his butt whooped by a 17 year old. Like, he gives no freaks. Okay. Um, and people was, you know, a lot of people was agreeing with Cat Williams on what he was saying about Tiffany Haddish and stuff. And personally, I used to like, um, what's his name? Kevin Hart, because he did talk about him. But he's white funny. If you don't know what I mean, it's like he cares more to the white folks. Okay? Just my opinion. Whatever. His stand-up before he got real big was funny to me. I was like, oh, gee, you know. But now when I watch his stand-ups, I be like, not saying you can't elevate. That's not what I'm saying. It's just like it's. He watch what he he watches what he says because he know endorsements and all that's gonna go out the window, okay? And he got to keep that up, so he got to put on his face. But I'm like, you faking for the camera and for these deals and stuff, but you're not being true to yourself. And I mean, I think that's what Cat Williams was trying to say about Tiffany Haddish and all these other people that done made it off one movie or just um doing something on um, Instagram and stuff. To where you overlooking the people who don't put in time, put in work, and they actually funny. You know, so whatever. That's just my opinion. Everybody has one. So it says that according to reports on Saturday, while at the Atlanta Comedy Theater, Williams alerted an office, hold on, office, off-duty Gwinnett County detective who was working security that a man had pulled out a ooh, ooh. On him, the man is reported to be Smith's husband. Police reports state after the whoop whoop was pulled, Williams took off running the, to the food depot next door to the theater. Surveillance. <laughs> Wait a minute. He took off running to the food depot. Oh my gosh. Okay. Cameras show Williams indeed running to the store and sellers running after him, but later returning to the club. Sellers even spoke to the police about the incident. He claimed he was indeed carrying a firearm, but he never pointed at Williams. Okay. Sellers claim while chasing Williams, but you chased him. Okay, so you trying to do some type of harm, like, hey, you talking about my wife was good, you know? So, mm, the firearm dropped from his waistband and he bent over to pick it up. But at first, he never pointed at Cat. Mm. In addition to the surveillance capturing sellers going into the store, he does not show him carrying a weapon. Since the incident has occurred, the Gwinnett police have launched an investigation and is requesting anyone with information to come forward. Okay. Now, today, Wanda and... um. Franksky went on air and she discussed how she felt about the whole situation between her and Kat and how Franksky basically she felt like he didn't have her back. Once again, you going you a comedian. You supposed to toughen up. What the frick is wrong? Like I if you can't hang with the big dogs, you need to sit your little old ass dog down, okay? Sit yourself on down if you can't hang with the big dogs. You can't roof roof. You need to roof, roof, okay? Down that. But anyways, let's see what she had to say. Because I was just... He told her ass so I mean, he roasted her to the white meat. And she didn't, she didn't have no combat. That's why I really think she was like in her feelings. Because she really didn't have a combat for him. But what about how he dressed, his hair. And what else did she say? Oh, she called... The prison thing, talking about some you was in prison. He was like, no, boo, I was in jail. And I never went to prison. And I was like, no, the difference. I said, oh, my gosh. He just then got you on your intelligence. You, you're not intellectual. Like, he, whoa. But here you go, y'all. I, I, I but, wasn't but asked. But I played that. it. No, I played okay, it in okay, the office. But, it, but you still, okay, when we got off the air, we all went into the studio, right? Yeah. Mm -hmm. And we played, you, you had, I'm looking at your computer, and there's a first bar, then there's a second bar, which I know that the guy in the back, the person edited. So, I don't no, know. I, I, I edited. Okay, well, who, you, whoever edited. Yeah. Okay, so, when we got in the office, you were playing it for the digital person. I sat in a chair, and I listened to it, and so, the first part played about the whole Tiffany Haddish, Kevin Hart thing, or whatever. Then, you played the second half. So, you explained to him, this is when Cat Williams and Wanda got into it. So, we were all clear on I wasn't asked. I, 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 
it went? Do you felt like you should have stopped it, or do you feel like now that it's out there and this is well, well, this I, is I, a negative I, thing? I feel. First of all, I don't appreciate people keep saying you should have stopped it. Right. Because we both have the responsibility to stop it. You have just as much responsibility to say to go to break than I do. You could have looked at the producer and said, okay, cut it. And he would have cut it. But you didn't do that. Y'all kept going back and forth. So mm -hmm. you got just as much power as I do. So I don't want people to listen to the show thinking that I got this magic button that I push. That's not the way this thing works. It, I didn't know. I'm watching two comedians going back and forth. That's what we did. And it was funny. And it was funny. And I think that had it gone the other way, we wouldn't right. be having this conversation right, right now. Right. Had you won right. over Cat Williams, we mm -hmm. wouldn't be sitting here having the conversation. So it's unfair right. to say I should have stopped it. You better stand up for yourself, Kat. That's unfair. And I'm, I'm, I mean, I'm, I'm not. And I, I, I mean, it went, right. You felt like you should have stopped. Radio, yeah. it should have been left there. Okay. As far as far as the viral stuff and it going on our website, I yeah. felt like that was disrespectful to me. This is where I live. Okay. I'm not gonna bring somebody to my mother's house and have them to break, have them to, to you know. And you got your phone house. ringing. Right. Girl, I'm just not gonna do that. So, this is where I live, and I'm not gonna let nobody come in here and disrespect you. Right. You know, if that would have happened, I would have stepped in, and I would have, you know. But look, I understand this. I, as a person that is not a comedian, did not look at it as being disrespectful. I looked at it like two comedians right. playing the Joneses. Mm -hmm. Somebody's gonna lose. And it just so happened on that day, right. you lost. Right. So I'm not I'm not gonna sit here and say, oh the people that did hear it on the red it I I am I'm, I'm, I'm just sorry that it ended this way. Do you, I really do, do you think that Cat Williams going back and forth wasn't fun or do you think he did it on purpose? I was looking in his eyes and it was like an attack. I, I, I don't even know what that was. Like, what did I do to you? Did I say something about you? Did I, I, I don't know. I just, when I was looking at him, I couldn't even respond because my mouth is can go there. I got a little mouth on me, but the respect wouldn't let me do that. It wouldn't even let, I couldn't, I, I don't, I, I didn't know. And, I, and the things that I was saying, you know, they were, oh, they were weak. Yeah, because I didn't want to do it. I didn't. I did not want to talk to him that way. If I do it, it's in fun. Okay. I'm going to say this. And we're going to get on in the comments. Y'all let me know what y'all think about this in the comment section below. But she talking about she felt disrespected. Okay. You felt disrespected. Just like Frank said, you have power just like I have power. You could have said, cut it, wrap it. We ain't, you know, cat, I... I appreciate you coming, bro, but this ain't going to happen. Not on my show. You know, or something like that. And then would have, but like he said, you kept going. You kept going with the man back and forth. He had something to say. Oh, you had to say something. Uh, you said something. He was going to say something. Like, I'm like, what are you talking about? You felt disrespected. Then you talking about how this is your home. This is your place. First of all. You act like we're going into your actual play. How many times have um, these radio stations been put on YouTube or anywhere else? Because people want to actually see stuff now. We don't just want to listen to it. Yes, we got a lot of people who still want to do, you know, listen. And on the radio, they do these podcasts and stuff like that. But a lot of people are visual. They want to see this stuff. And you get views, okay, on YouTube. So, Frank Ski know what the hell he doing, Okay. So, and he knew this was going to blow up. Of course, hey, approve, going to put it on um, YouTube, let everybody see it because, you know, we ain't popping right now. So, because, <laughs> I mean, I don't understand what, what you really got. You just didn't have a good comeback. And talking about some, well, a lot of people saying my stuff was weak. Which it was. And then you're going to talk about, well, I, I just didn't want to go there. He went there, so you should have went there. Unless, unless you wasn't ready for his his real comebacks, okay? Because you're saying you could have went there. You, you just didn't want to do that to the man. You just didn't want. Honey, when you playing the Joneses, because that's what I thought it was too, Frank Ski. I thought it, they was playing the Joneses. Hey, no holes bar. Like when you freestyling, rap battling, no holes bar. So, if you don't want to go there, don't start it. Be like, hey, thank you, cat. You know I ain't going to fool with you, dog. You know I ain't blase, blase. But you was going back at with, you was going back at it with him. 
So, of course, he was going to hit you where it hurt. Because it looked like he really didn't want to be there, but he just came. And you started with him. And he was like, finish him. Boom. <laughs> K.O. And you just couldn't handle it. And all the backfire you was getting, it was just too much for you. That's why he was like, I, I didn't get it. I approved this. You know, Frank Ski, I, I feel like you disrespected me as well. And, you know, you had the power to stop this. And he like, uh-uh, don't put me in the middle of nothing. I laughed my ass off as just as everybody else was laughing their ass off in this room. Hey, I'm back. But um, I don't know where I left off. But tell me all thoughts in the comment section below. Do you think Wanda is in the wrong? Do you think Kat is in the wrong? Hell, do you think Frank Ski is in the wrong? He just like, I was just here for the entertainment, basically. Just like everybody else. Child, you the one talking about some you cook a mean-ass broccoli. What the? That's a side. That is a side. That ain't even the main course. Unless you want a little diet or something. But that's still a side in my book. A side. What happened to you? I make a nice broccoli and rice casserole. But you couldn't think on your feet too quick. But y'all take care. Love you. Peace. Ain't no game or damn about me. If I die today, who gon' step up for me? These niggas phony, I trust them far as I can see. Fake hand shakes, man. That's all my case. They say believe. the way that we living ain't right every day. I be rich in my life. But if I don't do it, who gon' do it for me? Gotta provide, gotta get to the money.